Cochabamba City is part of a metropolitan area comprising eight municipalities and two million people. A large percentage of the population is people that came from the countryside and from the mining areas from Bolivia, so lots of migrants starting settlements around the city in very urban areas. The problem is that the city has grown much more than they thought it would, and the current treatment plant, the centralized plant, is uh, totally overloaded. These new neighborhoods sometimes are really far away from this plant, so it's very costly to interconnect the new settlements to the centralized systems. ¿Qué está saliendo este alcantarillado? Eso es el olor insoportable para nosotros, para nuestros niños. El colegio está cerquita, pasan por aquí a sus casas, porque no hay ni una pasarela por aquí, pasen. I'm the chair of the board of an NGO called Aguatuya. It means your water or water of yours. So our work involves the development and the construction of new decentralized treatment facilities. We call them DWATs, Decentralized Wastewater Treatment Plants. We have moved away from a centralized paradigm to a more decentralized and distributed approach. The project is about closing the loop. This means closing the water cycles and the nutrient cycles. We have been working mostly with anaerobic treatment this technology doesn't use energy, so it's just nature doing the work without the need of big uh, pumps or aerators or anything like that. So it's very low cost technology. Treated sludge can be incorporated into the soil as a fertilizer. And instead of taking all the wastewater just to, to the river like it used to be, that treated water can be used for forestry, for urban parks, for green areas, and for agriculture as well. Cochabamba is a very dry area. We get only between 350 and 400 millimeters of rain per year. We cannot afford to waste it, right? We're feeling the effects of the climate change. Farmers were used to have more water from the rain or irrigation systems, and now those systems are not as reliable as before. The plant of treatment that they have has been a lot of benefit for the population of the community of Villa Carmen. Con esa agua uh, regamos ahora mucho mejor para hacer producir bien el maíz, muchas plantas. Ahora allá y todo el año no podemos uh, incluso hacer producir dos veces al año que antes no había. On one side you have the municipal service that has the main coverage of the central area and downtown. But around the city, in the newer settlements and the peri-urban areas, you also have water committees and you also have cooperatives. So the idea is to collaborate and integrate these different approaches. In the past, the investment capacity of the local governments was very low, so the coverage was very low. And people started building their own systems. In many cases, they have invested out of their own pockets to build these systems, so ownership is, is huge. They, don't just feel like they own the system, they are the owners. And people, they pay a monthly fee in order to have water at home, and they also pay a monthly fee for sewer and treatments. Es que está en la ciudad lejísimo, ¿no? De esa manera nos hemos adaptado, digamos, este, por con nuestros recursos, lo que nos hemos organizado con el Comité de Agua, así organizando el Comité de Acantarillado, Nadie tenía costo, sí, un servicio de agua alcantarillado y, y después nos pensando, después de años y años, hemos dos decidido hacer esto. Primero con el agua, luego el alcantarillado, paso por paso. There has to be now an integration between the public utilities, the big pipes, the mains, you know, in smaller decentralized systems the utilities in starting to interact with, with these other systems to build on their existing capacities. And also the utility has seen the, the benefit of decentralized wastewater treatment. In the municipio of Clisa, for the moment, we have seven plants of treatment, of which one is the one that is located in the zone of Villa del Carmen. It serves approximately 10,000 people, which is the population of the urban 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 urban. Estamos preparando proyecto 
donde vamos a construir una planta de tratamiento de similar característica que el de Villa Carmen. Inclusive adicionar una fase más que nos permita hacer tratamiento bacteriológico. Instead of, of building huge plants, you can build the plants module by module. So your investment is, is incremental. It's better to start simple with basic technologies, uh, basic treatment, but make sure everybody's drinking their water. And, and then you can always improve uh, the plant and make it more sophisticated and go to a higher level. But uh, it's better to learn to walk first and then to run.